I'm Nathan, this is Jake, we're at Leicester Shoe Fighters. I'm going to show you a few little moves based around the can open and neck crank. Um, it's not necessarily a high percentage technique, but it can be an annoyance. There are guys out there who will grab on your head and pull it, so it's a good idea to have some counters. But let's have a look at the, the move first. So Jake's in closed guard, he's got his legs around. To get the can open, the first thing I need to do is pin his hips, because if I reach my arms forward, I don't want to get caught in an arm bar immediately. So the first thing I'm going to do is rock my weight forward and come up onto my toes and pinch the hips with my knee. So I'm pinching those hips really tight and I'm pushing my hips into his hips. So I'm trying to get control of his body. At this point, my arms come in and I snake forward. I grab top of the head as high as I can on a nice long lever here and I push my elbows down into his chest. So I want to really push my elbows right into here, and down onto his collarbones, down into his chest, as I roll his forehead towards his belly. So I push down, and I roll in here. Okay, don't just pull up. I need to drive those elbows forward and down as I pull forward, put my head on top of his. So he's got that move on me. If his weight's too, not too far forward, the first counter is just a bail and sit up. Okay, so he's trying to bend my neck, he's trying to bend part of my spine like this, so I'm going to bring my butt underneath so my spine straight again. So we're here, maybe his weight's not committed too far forward, he just grabbed my head. So as I feel my head bend up like this, my hands go down, I scoot back, and I can go to an open guard, to butterfly, and go to a sweep. So one more time. I feel him pulling my head forward, but rather than stay here and get injured, I'm going to go with him, pushing my head forward, with my butt back, and sit up. Okay, now the next move, maybe he's pinning me down a little bit. I'm going to treat this like a tight clinch standing up. I'm going to push his chin away and make some space. So he's got me a little bit tighter now. He's pulling my head up, my hands are going to go under the chin, and I'm going to push up here, put pressure on. Okay, if he doesn't release, that's the moment to spin and take the arm off. So we're here again, he grabs. If I can get it straight away, I can take away the pressure. My head comes up and I push, here. So he keeps pulling on my head, I've got pressure on his neck, my elbows are pinching tight. If he stays here and his hands are connected to my head, that's a good time to spin. I'll take the arm ball. Okay, now this last one here. I need to feel which hand is on top. So I reach, it's this hand on top, so I'm gonna grab his fingers. I reach around, I grab the fingers, and I. Nice and tight, pull them down to the side. And I'm going to grab the wrist. Now if I just press the wrist, his, his arm's going to move. So I need to make sure that I bring my knee up behind his tricep, both hands on top, and I squeeze down for the wrist lock. So one more time, he's got my head, he's quite tight here, I can't quite get space, maybe his head's in tight here. I'm going to reach around, I'm going to grab the fingers, pull them down to the side, reach over the top, make a frame on his tricep, and then pull his fingertips down to the bend of his elbow for the wrist lock. That's the can open a neck crank from guard. And three counters. I can sit up. I can push the face away with my head going back, which leads into an arm bar. Or I can reach on top, grab those top fingers, pull it out to the side, create a frame behind his tricep, and get the bend wrist lock.